I know this is what y'all have been waiting for. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn your free Canva website into an e-commerce website so that your customers can shop with you. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is head back over to Canva. This is an example website I have made for my previous video on how to create a free Canva website. Once we scroll all the way down, I want to add a page. We're going to go over to Elements. So for this part, I'm just going to add two squares. And then I'm just going to add a picture of a t-shirt and then a picture of probably a sweater. So this is the type of button that I use. I have this grouped here and I'm going to copy it because I want all the buttons on the website to match. So I'm going to put this one right here and then I'm going to duplicate it and put that one under here. And I'm going to change it to buy now. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of text. I'm going to put t-shirt, simple, and I'm going to copy, and I'm going to put simple sweater, and now I'm going to copy it again, and I'm just going to add the price. All right, at the top, I'm going to put our shop. These are going to be our two products on our page. You can create a purchase link using either Square or Stripe. So with either of those two, you'll create an account, add your business, and then you'll be able to create a link for all your products. I already have a Stripe account, so I'll be using this. Once you create your Stripe account, you'll head on over to product. You'll press this create button right here, and then you're going to create a payment link. write your description and then the price was $15. Do you want this to be recurring or one time and we'll add product. This is what it's going to pull up as. Also on this side right here you'll be able to press if you want people to purchase more than one. You can also collect the customer's address. This is good if you are going to obviously be shipping people out. Products require customer to give phone number and you can also add a custom field such as text reminders, advanced option. You'll be able to allow promotion codes. So if you want to give your customers discounts, business customers provide tax IDs, and you'll be able to save payment details for future use. This is what we're going to leave it as. Oh, also right here, you can add if you want products or subscriptions or customers choose what to pay. Okay, so you're going to create a link. You're going to copy this link right here. We're going to head back to Canva. Now you're going to press buy now. Press more, press link. This way, if you command V, this is going to, on a MacBook, if you command V or uh, press the left side of your keyboard or mouse, you'll be able to press paste and you'll be able to paste the link. Now, to avoid having this line, you'll go up right here and just press this underline and it'll get rid of that line. To make sure when people press the button, they will go to the link whether they're pressing the letters or the button, you want to add a link to the button itself too. So we're gonna do the same process. 
add the link, command V, and the link is now added to the button, okay? I'm going to publish the website now so you can actually see website now scroll down here's our items once you press buy now it's going to take your customers to the strike link to be able to purchase this item that is going to be a way for your customers to be able to purchase through your website you will either use stripe or square create an account add your business, create your link, and then add it to your Canva website with all the steps I just showed you. Now, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you give me a like. For more, make sure you subscribe.